All right, guys, it is a sweltering Saturday morning in the hell hole of South Austin, Texas, June 11th, uh, 2016. And I just have to, just a real quick story about the unbelievable, the unbelievable horror that I suffered on uh, my air on my airplane flight, you know, Sancho Panza and I were taking an airplane from St. Croix to Austin, and uh, I guess it was the leg from Miami to Austin. So it started out the only thing to read that I had was a People magazine. Good God, I have not read a People magazine. I just included one of the stories in my Clueless Moron Roundup rant. So I thought that I had seen it all. So I, I actually spent an hour on this, uh, on reading People magazine to, uh, to update myself on, on Clueless Morons. Good God, you know that they teach in journalism school. The length of articles in People magazine. This is no joke. This is no joke. Was, was, was scientifically determined by how long it takes the average person to have, to take a shit. They actually got volunteers to come in and shit. At least this is what they were teaching in journalism school when I was coming up. Uh, and, and, and I don't know how many dozens of people went in the bathroom and took a dump while they had a stopwatch going. And they figured out the scientific formula of, of how to, to cater your journalism to the average American reader. Uh, but anyway, this ran in about, about People Magazine, so I finished that and probably had one more hour on the damn plane. So I looked up I don't know if you guys are aware of this, and they have these little TV screens now hanging on all over the seats. Of course, I did not have my TV screen pulled down. It was just up in the uh, up in the thing, so I didn't I didn't have my TV. But I noticed that every TV on the place, and thank God I did not have any earphones. Thank God. Uh, I didn't have an earphone, so this was all silent, but even silent was, was horrific enough. And I'm looking, and, and what is on the screen? With, I mean, it, it, there's like a hundred people's eyes glued to it, people laughing. Uh, I, I mean, it was like 100 zombies staring at these, this little, these little uh, TV screens. And so I look up there. And it took me the longest time to figure out what it was. And, and what it was was, oh shit, what was it? I think the name of the show is called Little Big Shots. Little Big Shots. And, and even without the sound, if, the, if, if I had been able to hear Little Big Shots, I would have just simply opened the emergency exit door and jumped out of the plane at 38,000 feet. The only reason that Sancho and I did not go through the emergency exit door at 38,000 feet was because I had no headphones. But just watching this for about 20 minutes, I mean, it was it, it just absolutely jaw-dropping in, in, in the horror and the horror of it. So it's some guy, I guess this is the newest version of Kids Say the Darndest Things, and they got this guy, this host, he's like, I guess he's some sort of cross between Art Linkletter and, uh, and Mr. T. This big, goofy-looking, bald-headed black dude, and he does all of this weird shit with his mouth. Have you ever put peanut butter in a dog's gums and they make it, that, I think that's how they got Mr. Ed, you know, the talking horse, how they got him to talk is they smeared 
peanut butter on his gums so they would do this to make the uh to make this red look like he was talking well word so apparently what they do is they smear peanut butter on this dude's gums and so the whole time these adorable little these little fuckers uh, my god I, I mean this is every uh, every uh, what's the word I can't even remember anti-natalist nightmare these adorable cute little kids bouncing around doing whatever they do while you have this guy this big goofy guy trying to get peanut butter off his gums and meanwhile I guess on every jumbo jet in America this is what at least American Airlines chose to broadcast on the flight from Miami to Austin little big shots just thank God the, the reason I am alive today bringing you this rant is because I didn't have any any headphones that's what saved my ass but anyway I really do have to wrap this up I got a lot to do I got clueless lovable friends waiting for me out at a folk festival for a big ass picking party tonight I gotta go to the store and get me some tequila and I gotta take the little dog to the uh, to the dog sitter. You're not going to the Kerrville Folk Festival. So Sancho and Ponza and I are gonna be separated from each other for the first time since we met on January 11th. We're gonna spend 24 hours apart. What do you think of that? Yes, me and my little sidekick. Bye, guys.